Hello everybody. So today I will teach you how to insert an object into your movie file. Uh, I'm having a little example here. This is a video clip for another channel of mine. Uh, and we're very, very simple. We're going to do this. All of a sudden a scale will appear out of nowhere. And then this appear. So this is what we're going to do. How to insert an object like so into your video footage. Now this is very simple to do, but you will require uh, another software like uh, Photoshop if you have it, which is good. And then we'll insert uh, a picture. So let's, uh, I already have a footage of a, a country club in my timeline. Let's see what we can do. Let's, uh, right now. let's add a golf cart. Let's add a golf cart. So let's look for an image. Uh, images. <clears throat> Let's type in car and see what we can get. Now, uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to choose a white background and you'll see why in a minute. You can choose any picture you want, whatever you want. Let's look for a golf car. Mm, don't think we're going to get one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Golf car. So, yeah, that looks good. This is fine. So, copy the image. Open up my Photoshop, Control N, Enter, Control V. <clears throat> now I'm going to use my magic eraser tool. Now you can use the marquee tool or whatever program you're using, and you'll see why I chose a white background for the, arg for the argument for the sake of the tutorial, because it just is really quick. There you go. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just a tutorial photo. So. So let's save the file. Now, this is uh, important because you need to save the file as a PNG 24 for this to work. Uh, actually, before we do that, I've just realized this file is enormous. So let's just resize this file. Otherwise, we're going to have Godzilla and a golf buggy on the golf course. That's not what we want, is it? Scare all those poor people. There we go. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, that looks better. So PNG 24, save. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, let's just override this car PNG, replace. Let's go back to our Corral Studio, import that one. Let's see, desktop. There we go, car. And there it is. Now all you need to do is drag it to your second timeline, and guess what? There it is. See, no more backgrounds. So that looks pretty good. Let's just resize that a little bit to make it look like it actually belongs. Well, it's still kind of huge, isn't it? And if we uh, move the footage along, you will then see the golf cart voila appear. So there you go. It is that simple. You can do anything you want. Now, just remember, it has to be a PNG 24 for it to work. Otherwise, if it's anything else, you will still have a white square around your objects. Okay, I hope you learned something today, and thanks for watching.